is going on everybody it's captain blue shell coming to you guys today with warcraft's build a bear workshop today <laughs> we're gonna be checking out a panda the pandaren we're gonna be going with the monk class i've heard really good things about being a monk about being a pandaren the beautiful picturesque scenery and landscapes along with the very unique and fun class of monk itself been wanting to know about the abilities the character all that's surrounding it so we're going to be getting in that today our very first time ladies and gentlemen the pandaren monk let's go ahead and build it try it out stick around it's captain blue shell well, 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 if it isn't Captain Blue Shell. Right off the bat with this one, guys, I'm letting you know that we are going to be doing a class trial. So basically, we're going to kind of test it out on level 60 as a monk because I know the game. I've been playing the game for years. And even though this is our first time as a monk, I think it's kind of the fast track uh, basis on how to get to know your character, your abilities, if you like it or not. And we'll go ahead and just kind of test it around. But first, let's go ahead and customize our Build-A-Bear Panda in Warcraft. Here we go. So first thing right off the bat, too, as well, with the customization, guys, I really like the black and white to significate that, you know, that we are pandas, right? You know, as soon as somebody first looks at you, the black and white bear, they're like, oh my god, panda. But look at this one down here, though, too. It's like a shadow panda. It's like, I don't know, it's like more deep, dark, and mysterious. I really like this look, especially with the eyes as they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with this kind of, like, shadowy panda, you know, figure that can, like, you know, just kind of, you know, blend in with its surroundings and the shadows or something. I really like that. Let's go ahead and pick another face. I wish I could do that in real life. It's just so cool with the number of faces that you can pick, because it's like, you know, you can pick a panda that's really seen some crap, you know, some wars and battles in the past. It's like this guy who's all kind of, you know, I got us all like fur like you know bundled up and scarred up or whatever and also too we actually do have scars down here too as well over the eye i really love this kind of aesthetic that you can do that and let's go ahead i want something kind of you know more darker more you know like under undercover like in the shadows too as well i don't know why but i really like this one i really like just like the scruffed up fur of just, I don't know, something tells me that this, you know, panda has a story to tell for sure. And we're going to go ahead and be going with that one. Uh, with these, with the mustache, that's kind of cool with the bristles. Strands is kind of cool. Cords are kind of cool though too as well. I, I don't know why, I really like the bristles. Not so much like hanging down or anything, but just enough to say, hey... We're manly enough to have a mustache. This is the forked beard that we have as we go down. We can see more of the, you know, the standalone beards themselves. Kind of something that's, uh, you know, kind of just like right here. But I want something kind of like full and like, ooh, that's, that's actually a good one. Because now we get the cord and we get kind of like the ones on the sides. I like it. It looks mysterious. It looks like how a monk panda should look also too guys i just found the coolest set of eyes in history look at this man look they're just like glowing eyes how creepy is that i absolutely love it we have to go with this and for our name guys i went direct translation from chinese is going to be su chan which means dead fist i kind of like that it, it's i was trying to kind of go for like death punch or something like that but direct translation for dead fist is su chan we're going to be going for that one i think it's kind of cool and the specialization that we can start out with is going to be the wind walker uh it's kind of cool to kind of look at the other specializations though too mist weaver it's kind of a healer uh type monk uh, Brewmaster, I know for a fact, is a tank. They actually are wonderful tanks. If you have a monk as your tank in your party, you are absolutely going to love them. But we'll go ahead and stick with Windwalker as we get into it. Let's go ahead, finish up this guy, Dead Fist, Su Chan, in our character lineup. Let's go ahead and get into it. I love his hat. This is what I absolutely love, are the hats of the Pandaren. 
They look just so cool, the freaking monks. All of them. They truly do. Look at him! He's like looking around. It's so freaking cool. He looks fantastic. Alright, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's enter into the world of Warcraft, ladies and gentlemen, with our very first Build-A-Bear, Pandaren. Here we are, guys. There it is. Our very first steps in the life as a Pandaren. Look at that! Oh my god! We look so freaking bad, eh? We truly do. Windwalker is such a great... This is such a great class right off the bat, just as Monk. Like, I can really see the appeal. Like, it's close range, lots of damage, but also, too, at the same time, it's like few far and in between of everything that you can just kind of choose. It's like if I want to go ahead and summon a white tiger to come by my side. Look at that! It's like the spirit of the tiger. Then I can just kind of leave and let him, you know, go at it. And then I can come back in, go ahead and start wreaking some havoc too as well. And then we've got the, uh, you know, the, what is it, storm, wind, and fire? Or storm, earth, and fire? Where I can do this and all kinds of, it's just cool. It, aesthetically, it is amazing looking, it really is. And, in my opinion, I think that Monk would probably be the best, uh, you know, roleplay character out of them all in Warcraft itself. And also, of course, if we take a look at the other specializations, we have Mistweaver. It's basically kind of like a fighting healer. I really love the way that they do this because you can still kind of dish out some damage and still heal, you know, not, you know, not top tier healing, but it helps out your party you know, uh, pretty good ways. And then we have Brewmaster, which is obviously your tank, a big old buff, you know, uh, melee type of, you know, you, you basically just kind of use your fists and also too, you can use your staff and the pole arm too as well. It looks really cool. Let's go ahead, take a quick look at the Brewmaster because I've played with many of Brewmasters in my, you know, in my Warcraft life. And every single one of them I've really loved. You know, they've just been cool people. They've done their job super well. And now we get to know what it feels like to do it too. I, I mean, I have to say, as a brewmaster, these abilities aren't just, you know, useful to use. They're actually just really cool and fun to use as well. I mean, look at his stance when he's getting ready to battle. <laughs> I love it. It's kind of like the, uh, you know, the drunk master style. It's so cool. And then once we get into it, we just kind of, you know, go with, you know, fists of fury and everything just right on out. I mean, some of the abilities are just cool looking, you know, like here we get like a little tornado that surrounds us. We can enter into Zen Meditation, which reduces all damage by 60% for 8 seconds. And it just looks absolutely phenomenal. Look at that. It's like I'm floating on a cloud of writing and everything too as well. It's like he's so meditative. And it's just, it's absolutely awesome. Some of these just look absolutely super cool. We can also, we're also able to breathe fire too as well. It's, it's just, I mean, look at that. From the fist, from the mouth, it's just so cool. <laughs> and also question, have you guys ever wanted to summon a black ox? I know that you have. I knew you were going to ask it. So here it is, guys. The, uh, the black ox that comes in <laughs> to help us as brewmasters. This is just like... This is just so much fun. I don't know, like, the learning curve isn't really all that hard. And we also get a little bit of healing, too, as well, with healing elixirs. Uh, so basically, if we go ahead and get this one on down, then we go ahead and we drink a healing elixir. We're ready, we're fighting fit, and we're back at it again with the battling. This is just so much fun. It's just so cool. Like, all the, like, all the different, like, martial arts into one. It's basically, it, it that's what it is. It's, it's Drunken Master. It's like, it's Drunken Style, and I absolutely love that. Also, too, with the rolls, if we want to go ahead and roll into an enemy and then just continue fighting. Or also, if we need to roll away from the danger, you know, eh, very, very, very occasional, you know, in which we would need to. It's like, Autobots roll out. I am Optimus Prime. And its signature move, guys, the Keg Smash. Of course, this affects more than just one enemy. But we go ahead and we literally, we, we literally just smash a keg into the enemy. That's like the coolest thing in the world ever. Look at this. Wait, hold on again. Wait, I want to see him actually throw it. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. And there we go. <laughs> it's like we're playing Donkey Kong. And even as a mist weaver in the monk class, it's very usable. This is a very, very flexible class with many options that are actually quite viable because... As Mistweaver, we have a lot of area effects 
uh, for healing. It's just so cool with how they look, how they feel, and like whatever, th with everything that they do, you know? It's like, I mean, if I want to go ahead and heal the party directly, there's a couple of abilities for that. But also, too, people are going to want to, you know, be beside you, be near you in order for the max healing effects. I mean, I can wrap the target in healing mists. I can go ahead and unleash rapid twirl of healing bolts <laughs> towards somebody and it'll go ahead and have a really, really good effect. So basically, even Life Cocoon, we can go ahead and wrap ourselves into a cocoon to absorb damage. It absorbs, it says 14, 796 damage, increasing all healing over time. I, I mean, it's, it's really incredible. And we also get the Jade Serpent here too as well to help us out this time with the, uh, the Mist Weaver. And it doesn't do any damage, but it actually helps us to heal injured allies. I think that's just so cool. Like the story, uh, you know, all of kind of the, uh, you know, the, the, the background of Pandera and also the monk too as well. How you get kind of like these little helpers with you to do different things. And the Mistweaver is also, like I said, very viable for healing. And yes, too, like I said, there are classes that can do a, a major amount more of healing. They can do healing a lot better. But Monk as itself, as flexible as it is, for you to be able to have that option to, you know, to just kind of go ahead and fight a little bit while healing everybody around you as a support class, it really is cool. I absolutely love the monk so far i truly do and more so even without the specializations the reason why i really do respect monks that i've always respected monks is because of the abilities that just monks themselves have like if, you know for instance to go ahead and be able to kind of fly on like a cloud everywhere it's just look at this if you're not jealous now i don't know when you ever will be jealous because this is as cool as it gets. Wanna see me levitate on my cloud? Look at this. <laughs> this is... <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is amazing. We also have the Zen Pilgrimage, which says your spirit travels to your home temple, leaving your body behind. I don't really know. So our spirit is now leaving our body, which I don't really know what that means. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully it's something cool, magical, and mysterious, which it seems like it is. Kunlai Summit. Oh, okay, so basically it travels, it, it lets us travel to literally our temple. And then we've got the Portal to Stormwind, and then also to, eh, to that ugly, stupid place. So I guess technically that this is our temple. Like, this is the, the, the temple that we belong to and whatever, you know, kind of like along those lines. I really love the blend between Monk and Pandaren of how they kind of intersect with storylines and just how they go through with everything. You know, whether it's the story, whether it's the mounts, whether it's, uh, you know, kind of like your, your, you know, the way you dress too as well. They all, they both go really hand in hand. I really absolutely love that. And speaking of which, with these spells, we have Transcendence, Transfer Your Body and Spirit, Swap Locations, which I don't really know anything about. Split Your Body and Spirit, Leaving your spirit behind for 15 minutes. That's just absolutely crazy. Does that actually... So now so now our spirit is here and our body is going to be going back towards the temple. So I'm wondering if I go ahead and press that one that we were thinking about with this. Uh, swap locations. Does that mean... Oh, dude. <laughs> so our spirit actually comes over here. But if we wanted to... Uh, I'm, I'm sure that we could go and go... Okay, so yeah, basically, that's basically what it is. If we want to go ahead and travel to where our spirit is, back over there, we basically just go ahead and do that. That is phenomenal. And I'm, I'm guessing it only lasts for a few seconds until... Okay, yeah, that, that's still really cool though, man. Holy crap. Tiger's Lust increases a friendly target's movement speed by 70% for six seconds removes all roots and snares that's amazing touch of death you exploit the enemy targets weak point uh instantly killing them what the heck only usable on creatures that have less health than you that's dude form a ring of peace at the target location for five seconds enemies that enter will be rejected wait really 
So basically this is our own like little safety ring of power. Anybody who comes in, they're just going to be thrown out of the ring itself. We also have Resuscitate. Basically, we uh, restore a dead target to life. Uh, Fortifying Brew <laughs> turns your skin to stone for 15 seconds. So we really do have like a lot of things going on here. We have a lot of great healing abilities. It kind of reminds me of an offshoot of Druid just a little bit. I know you're going to be mad when I say that. But it just reminds me of the, the different specialization, uh, you know, spells and everything that you can do that, like, druids kind of do. You know, like, it's like, transform, do this, they can heal, they can attack. It's kind of the same thing, but a different flavor, and I really love the uniqueness of it. I mean, look at this, we even get Soothing Mist as one of the, you know, as one of the spells as just being a monk itself. So, really, like, in, in all... In all seriousness, this is such an amazing class. I really, really love this class. Like, you can do so many storylines and so much, like I said, role-playing with this. Like, your character's backstory. There are literally just endless options that you can come up with to have fun. And that's what Warcraft is about, you know? It's not just about collecting mounts, collecting outfits, collecting, collecting, collecting. You have to have fun with it. You have to have fun with a game. And I cannot, uh, I'll be honest, okay, just this small little exploration with you guys, I don't think there's any more fun of a class and a race together than Pandaren Monk. This is like, we, we just literally just found out just a couple minutes of what they can do, what they're about, and already I'm having so many ideas in my head. Like, I want to write like five graphic novels of a Pandaren Monk. And it's just, it's really nice to try out. And I'm definitely going to be sticking to it, uh, you know, as well. I really want to see down the road how well we do in combat. Like I said, sticking with it, seeing where it goes, what it leads us to. And to basically just kind of have, you know, that different, unique flavor of Warcraft coming back into my life. Which is nice. You know, you kind of need that. You kind of need a refresher. Uh, from a game when you've played it for so long and this is definitely one of them so yeah i'll definitely stick with it speaking of sticking with it definitely go ahead follow like subscribe for more possible pandaren videos more captain blue shell videos and i'll see you guys on the next beautiful adventure beautiful mystic pandaren adventure <laughs> it's captain blue shell love you guys i'm out